Hey guys, it's Pandora's Gamer, and welcome back to Life is Strange. <laughs> oh, I love this game so much. Okay, so we're supposed to go outside. Can we talk to the principal? Principal Wells always looks so distracted. I can never figure out what he's thinking. Does he hate me? Should we talk to him? Maybe you we look could a little tell stressed him. out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating pinballs. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be up front with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. Um... I think we should report him. I don't know, that's what I would do, so... I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott? You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told we'll you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course really? this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? I think we did the right thing. Oops, not what I meant to do. Retro selfie master. That's me, all right. You look relaxed as usual, Hayden. It's a skill one cultivates at Blackwell, especially when one represents the Vortex Club. Not to boast. Um, Vortex Club? What the hell is the Vortex Club anyway? It seems so elitist. Only if you're not cool enough to get in, and it doesn't hurt your resume. If you say so. I do. But you should actually come hang with us one night. Then you wouldn't be so inclined to gossip. Um... I don't think so. I don't think so. I'm not Miss Party. That's because you haven't partied with us. Or even Victoria, who's pretty funny when she's baked. It seems weird to think about partying with all those Rachel Amber posters up. You're high. Rachel used to hang out with us, too. She was a blast. Smart, not bitchy, like, you know. Um, let's talk about Rachel. So you knew Rachel Amber? I knew she liked to party. <laughs> Fun to be around. Oh, yeah, and she was hot. Rachel was in the Vortex Club? Rachel was actually a member of the Vortex Club? No. Rachel was like her own club. 
She was actually too cool for us. And I'll deny I ever said that. What happened to her? What do you think happened to her? Um, uh, whatever happens to people who disappear without a trace. Did Victoria like Rachel? Did Victoria like Rachel? She seems like the jealous type. Don't think you know Victoria so well. She respected Rachel, even if she didn't act like it. Nathan Prescott. Do you really want Nathan Prescott to represent? Oh, please. Nathan is like everybody's voodoo doll. Kill the rich kid. He's all right and a fun guy to hang with. Fuck the haters. Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough, but I'm still not going to party with him. Your loss, bro, is fucking hilarious when he's blazed. And he does always have the best shit. Let's talk later, Hayden. Bye, Max. No, I have to get my chemical on and study. We should get you and Dana out one night. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Brooke. Let me guess. You want to fly my drone? I'd love to. <laughs> I'd love to. I love planes and balloons and... This is neither. Do you know what a drone really is? A weapon, right? <laughs> uh, you read too many conspiracy sites. This might be too complicated for you. Funny. Warren said you were smart. Please, step back. Rude. Whatever. Um. They text really fast. <laughs> hey Max, can you get my flash drive? I need some info in space. Hello? <laughs> Sorry, running late. Insane day. I'll meet you in the lot. Looking cool, you'll see. My camera will be ready. See you shortly. I hope so. Okay? Okay, I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. Um... Okay, we'll just go get the flash drive. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Oh. Okay. Uh, of course she would be here. No. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. No. The Daguerrean processor. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't moving. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh yes, Victoria. I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Ugh. Don't like her. I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Yeah. Okay, so 
I kind of remember what to do here. This main sprinkler valve looks easy enough to use. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this! Jill Victoria, it's just water. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Grab that. Samuel is way too close. Damn it. Okay, let's see if this works. No way! No fucking okay, way! Okay, Victoria? <laughs> oh, Sam, you're sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair, no? Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Hold on, hold oh. on. We'll get some towels. Good. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I drive. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. <laughs> uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Mm. She is rude, but if it weren't me, I don't. I wouldn't make fun of her. Even though I did I this. I am sorry. <laughs> That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was, no. but there'll be another. Well, you always seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck your selfie. That was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know? I know exactly what you mean, Victoria. I'll see you later. Yeah. Au revoir. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. No. Better get to my room before I find Warren. How do we get in there? There we go. <laughs> okay. Hurry, Courtney. Victoria is going to How sad. I didn't write anything. I have nothing to say. <laughs> Those drawing skills, though. That's how I draw. <laughs> Home sweet home, my favorite cocoon. Warren even left me a little message with his flash drive. He's such a goofball. To Max or whom it may concern, the cinematic contents of this flash drive are of a graphic life altering controversial nature. <laughs> this collection has been downloaded with the greatest care and for the most discriminating viewer. I, I, I know I'm not such a great, great reader. You on your taste and eagerly 
await your in-depth review of Cannibal Holocaust and Ultra Vixens. Peace. <laughs> War. Aww, teddy bear. And... Max, your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about a Blackwell honor student. Is this true? The principal said this was a serious false charge and that he is worried you're s telling stories. Call me ASAP and we can talk about this. Wow, really? Okay. Always taking a selfie. Okay, let's find that flash drive. Instant film is so damn hard to find and expensive now. But I can't help it. I'm analog, not digital. Looks like Dana left me a little post-it note. Hey girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. Okay. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Let's leave. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Oh, crap. Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Hey, Juliet, is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. <laughs> what did she do? What did she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Just zone out with your camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Um, <laughs> Juliet Watson? Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Oh, I guess Of right. course I do. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sex, and Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything. But I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Oh, okay. Woof. Where is Victoria's room? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> it would be open. At least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Dear Miss Chase, thank you for your submission to the Croft Gallery. Unfortunately, your work is not compatible with our mission statement. We appreciate your effort and wish you success in future endeavors. Hmm. Dior, Givenchy, you could pay for... Those boots are made for walking runways. <laughs> that is a tasty plasma. Maybe I could sneak in and watch Final Fantasy Spirits Within. I don't care what anybody says, that's one of the best sci-fi films ever made. I bet Victoria put Juliet on her shit list after this article. Oh. <laughs> that's a long one. Okay, um... Let's look at her laptop. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo. And for this nice shot. Boom! This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Taylor, so sad to inform you that I totally punked 
Juliet and Dana just now, all I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw nasty sext from Dana on Zach's phone. Dumb, but I don't like to swear. <laughs> Believe me. And so I expected there to be a dorm rampage soon. Juliet deserves this for sledding Zach away from me. As for Dana, who gives a get out your popcorn? Wow. Really? <laughs> this better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. I hope so. I need that flash drive. She's actually got a classic medium format camera with some awesome prime lens. I hate you, Victoria. Is she going to get a 3D printer for her dorm room? Maybe I will join her posse. <laughs> 3600? Okay. That's a lot. Let's get out of here before she gets back. Speaking of selfies... Yeah, I w I'm not gonna mess them up. <laughs> Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now let's see what Zack has to say about Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost done. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Wait, what? That looks like a home pregnancy test. Uh, Max, that's mine. Thank you. You're not helpful. You're just nosy. I think you better go. Nice, Max. You hurt her feelings by being so damn nosy again. Max, but I could rewind enough. and make it up to her. There's no more gossip for you here, Max. So go. <laughs> Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. <laughs> what? <laughs> um I better make sure everything is still in there. I think Warren forgot to hide the party buster folder. Not that I would open it no matter how tempting. I have my self respect. <laughs> okay. This is both sad and pathetic. Dana, I suck at writing, but I thought I should write this so you might not hate my dumb butt forever. I know I act like a tough jock around everybody, but I never have had to act around you. I'm not the kind of man you deserve. You saw how I... If you need any money, you let me know. Hmm. It would be a cool sticker without the words. I assume Dana kept the appointment. Hmm. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. 
real mature. Victoria is not nice. <laughs> Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. <laughs> He's a good guy. A geek like me. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. <laughs> Now I feel too wiped out to leave. Okay, let's just, wait, what did that say? Eternity book. Hmm. Okay, where did I last read? I'll meet you in the- okay, we read that. I think in that one. I hope so, I don't mind waiting out here for- wait. Okay. I don't mind waiting out here forever. I love this parking lot. I can count all the cars. The more I text, the longer I take on my way. <laughs> Oh, oh my god. Damn, I better rewind. Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. Wow. <laughs> By the way, thanks, but we're not friends. Okay. <laughs> So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Mm. <laughs> I'm gonna intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse me, you shouldn't be yelling at students or bullying them. Hey. Hey, nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. You're part of the problem, Missy. I will remember this conversation. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. Anytime, Kate. I felt like an everyday hero helping Kate, but... Yeah. <laughs> Oops. I'm glad I stepped in that time. Can't stand to see people being bullied. How could Zack and Victoria do that to me? Wait, do what? What'd they do? Hi, Juliet. How are you doing? Oh, hey, Max. Sorry, I'm still screwed up. Um. Sorry you had to find out about Zachary that way. Or anyway. Better sooner than later. Now that skank Victoria won't be laughing behind my back anymore. Have you talked to Zach yet? Mr. Badass Football Hero is such a chicken shit. 
He said he sexted Victoria as a joke. Ha ha. I think Warren wants your attention. He usually does. Hang in there, Juliet. See you around, Max. Max, get your ass over here. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. Aww. No problem. <laughs> Check out my new wheels. Cool. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. Mm, I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about it. Jeez, you're a little miss sensitive today. I wouldn't push your luck, Warren. Not in the mood today. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. <clears throat> no fucking way will I watch that. My mind is twisted enough. <laughs> I laughed my ass off. So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. <laughs> what? I'm gonna say this. No, I was impressed you had faster pussycat kill kill. Russ Mayer was a genius of black and white. Plus, babes with breasts. Who would beat your sensitive ass down? If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Mm, I need to talk. I need to talk to somebody. Just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. <laughs> Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal, now. Answer me, bitch. Jeez, I'm not gonna tell him. What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new, I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. Mm, take a step back. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude! Leave him alone! Nobody tells me what to do! Not my parents, not the principal, that. or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Warren. Go! Go! I got this! Get in, Max! Get your punk asses out of there now! Don't even try to run! Nobody! Nobody! Okay, <laughs> it's getting good, but I have to end it there. I've been recording for like 37 minutes, <laughs> but I hope you guys are enjoying this game. I really, really, really love this. I don't know how many times I can say it. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.